the screen. And they have voice. Now because the baby is facing the screen. So, then she turned the screen. Sorry, this is another boy. Now, you see this? This is not even in flame lab yet. These are two balls. This is another boy. So Christine called me. I was in the office. And she said, Han, it's another boy. Then I said to her, it's okay. It's okay. Let's receive what God is giving us. I said that to her. I said, many couples are praying to have one, just one. But they don't even have one. So some people, it's okay. So I talked to her, and I'm thinking, okay na rin siya. Hindi ko alam, hindi pala okay sa kanya. Ito pong nangyari. When she got home, she opened her Bible. You know, Christine is an intercessor. So she opened her Bible to John chapter 15. <coughs> In John chapter 15, she read the word back to the Lord. This is what she said. Yes. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away, withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish. Ask whatever you wish. You know what Christine did? She did this to God. Lord, Ikaw ang nagsabi nito. Ikaw ang nagsabi nito. So now, I am asking, give us a baby girl. So, she's supposed to give birth January 29. My birthday is January 30. I was having a, an early celebration in the office. She's the Sahaya Kasir. So in my mind, another boy. So sabi ko, anyway, your mama will be with you after I will follow to the hospital. January 29. When I arrived at the hospital, my mother-in-law said to me from the corridor, from afar, she shouted, Pee! Pee! It's a girl! I forgot to tell you, after the first ultrasound, she had another ultrasound still show a boy. So, what do I say? Nagkamali yung ultrasound? Sabi ko, hindi. Correct ang ultrasound. But, my God said, ask whatever you wish. The God that you see, the God that you believe, is the God that you will be. Prayers are powerful. I tell you, I have so many stories. We will not have lunch if I tell you all the stories. <laughs> Prayers are so powerful. Uh, maybe you're thinking, what do you mean, Brother Peter? Does the Lord answer 100% of your prayers? No. But when He doesn't answer my prayers, His answer is better than the answer I thought was good in my, in my mind. 
Because God knows the end from the beginning. You and I need to do is, the only thing we need to do is to trust Him. For many years, even when I was already a Christian, I was living a double life. I was not yet in CBN, and I, I had a logistics company. I had a partner from Hong Kong, and we were shipping all the well-known name brands, clothing wear, from the Philippines to the U.S., from the Philippines to Europe, to Asia. And because I was, quote unquote, a generous person, at least, in a okay, Lord, Lord, generous ako. Meron kasi ako. Lord, I'm so generous. Ah, I told God, Lord, dito ka lang, Lord, ah, sa Sunday. Pero Monday to Saturday, uh, this is my business days. Okay ako dito, Lord. I know what I'm doing. Okay? Dito ka lang, Lord, Sunday. Why? Because Monday to Saturday, I was applying the world's system. And what is the world system? You want to earn more? You just cheat. You just cheat. How do you cheat, Brother Peter? Kung halimbawa, exporter ka, bibigyan mo ako ng proofs, let's say, uh, 3,000 kilos of skirt, you ship it. At yung mga, mga kantor, sinusukatan niya ng airline, tapos sinitimpang. Kung mas, kung hindi siya gaano kapiga, halimbawa, hindi siya denim, kasi denim mapiga, halimbawa, nylon or some light material. So, it's a charge ka ng airline ng volume weight, hindi yung actual weight, kasi mas mataas ang volume weight. So, what do, what do we do in our company, which, uh, I don't know, I guess in that industry, I, I'm not there anymore. Perhaps it's still going on today. So, we will turn over to the airline 3,000 kilos. But we will pay those who are measuring the carton para itikay lang nila 2,100 kilos. And then, ako, sasabihin ko kay Lord, Lord, hindi naman masamay kasi hindi naman actual weight. Yep. Hindi sa dangerous para sa iyong plato. Mabalik naman ako. Yeah. So, can you imagine the amount of money? Let's see, you'll pay the airlines. Alibaba, $2 times 2,000 kilos, $4,000. Tapos yung kinat na weight, $1,000. Eh, yung hindi, hindi yung cost ang ikinacharge mo sa kayate. Siyempre, yung selling price mo. So, kung $4 yun, times 1,000 kilos, $4,000 one shipment lang po. We have so many shipments in a day. That's why at that time, I can buy Mercedes Benz every month. But I'm telling the Lord, Lord, generous Lord. Di naman ako sumapak. I share it with my employees. Mabait ako, Lord. Lahat ang pagbebenta kay Lord, sinasabi ko sa kanya. And then, one Sunday morning, in the middle of praise and worship, Huh? And those in Peter, I was raising his hand. And then the Holy Spirit says to me, You are here worshiping me, and yet from Monday to Saturday, you are cheating. So, and then he said, You put my name to shame. So the Lord did not let me sleep 
I did, I could not sleep. So on Monday, I told the people in the office, okay, starting today, from now on, kung ano yung going your way, yun ang i-declare nyo, and that's what we will be here. No more cheating. Pero, alam mo, ito si Brother Peter, medyo sa bahay, ano mo sinabi ko kay Lord? Lord, ay mo ako mag-cheat. Ha? Ito ang palami to sleep. Sige, sige, hindi na ako mag-cheat. Pero, pero Lord ha, pero, pag nalugi yung negosyo ko at maglileo pa pa ng tao, kasalanan mo yan. Kasalanan mo yan, Lord. Hindi naman kung merciful God is, it's good if you have said a lightning to strike it. Kaya kung higa na sa hell. What a disgrace I am. What a fool I am in the eyes of God. How dishonoring can a person be to the creator of the hands, heaven and earth? But you know the Lord is so gentle. He's so merciful. Otherwise I won't be here today. You know what he did? Why? You think you can make money, be prosperous because you cheat? I will show you that even when you don't cheat, I will send a blessing to come your way. You know that year when we stopped the cheating, the Lord multiplied our business four times. Four times. We didn't have times two. We didn't have times three. Times four. To show you, I am the God who gives you the ability to produce wealth. It's not your cheating. It's not your life. I am the God that causes a person to command a blessing to come to you. Amen.